I've been doing a bit of shooting lately without making videos. Um, just trying to get back to my roots of uh, what I like to do instead of having to focus on trying to make some kind of a production out of it. And my latest uh, project has been uh, to get a hand load for 9mm that will work well in the semi-automatic carbines. I've got a, a Mark IV Sterling, a British submachine gun converted to a semi-automatic by Wise Light. And uh, I wanted to take advantage of the potential for high velocity with the 16 inch barrel there. And what I've got is uh, eight and a half grains accurate number seven behind a 115 grain Winchester uh, with the uh, CCI 500 small pistol primer. It's working out quite well. I did a couple of 10 shot strings uh, with these two loads that I'm working on. The other one is uh, 7.0 grains of uh, uh, Alliant Power Pistol with the 115 grain jacketed hollow point um, CCI 500 primer. Again, work up your own loads if you're going to try this. Okay, again, this is uh, my 8.5 greens accurate number 7. Unfortunately, I can't show you my uh, other load with power pistol because I shot them all off already. I, I was really having a blast uh, ripping the heck out of uh, aluminum can out there and I just got carried away. And they seem to be very accurate too. Uh, I didn't do any you know, detailed uh, bench rest shooting on them yet. I don't feel like doing that out in the cold right now. That, I'll save that for warmer weather. old uh, orange ball target out there again. I'll give you a closer look. Put the camera downrange for this. These things really snap. Uh, they're about 100 feet per second slower than the power pistol load, so those things are just nuts. Uh, no signs of over pressure again. I want to make that clear. This is the brass from those really hot power pistol loads that you didn't get to see. Here's one of the bullets <clears throat> caught in the orange ball here. That was a 115 grain Winchester hollow point. And this is just mixed brass, range brass. There's a slight extractor mark right there. That's the only sign of mild pressure. Uh, no bulges or no flattened primers or burst primers. Uh, so I think we're in good shape on that one. And this is the uh, accurate load. Again, you can see an extractor mark kind of shining up. That is a sign that they're a little warm, but I think they're safe. Thanks a lot for coming out and shooting with me in the cold again. It's nice to have friends to shoot with. <laughs>